right, you guys, we're back with another guide video. I know it's been a little while, but uh, this is for Nighthood Boss Belgius Hell. It's probably the easiest team to hit bigger points with, uh, you know, 11k plus. For the artifact set, this is what we're running. Uh, healing artifact set whenever you get debuffed. If you don't have it, run the other healing artifact set. Uh, as for units are running, we got Fest Gother. As in C's on HP defense, gotta have his relic, need that extra extra buff. I guess he could work even without the relic, but you know. Also want to run Green Sariel Link on him. Uh, I'll go over why just a little later. King, uh, minus six out of six, so he can be ran on HP defense. Um, not exactly sure, I'm guessing probably five six and higher you can do HP defense. Helbrum, HP defense, and you do have to have his relic lane, HP defense. Uh, you need her for the D ranks. Uh, we'll go over why in just a minute. But uh, as you can see, what my links are here running blue tarmiel on a lane, that's what I'd suggest. HP food. Missions are clear within eight turns, do 200,000 damage in one attack, and use a rank down skill four times. Then there's the female only mission. We're just going to skip that this week since you can score just about as high anyways without it. But turn one, what we're going to do is use the king card first so we don't do too much damage. We're going to use the Elaine AoE to waste it. Target the middle guy here since he won't be able to take any damage. And then we're going to use the go through card here. Because it will put a debuff on the side guys. Whenever these side guys are debuffed, they will heal at the beginning of the next turn. And you want them to heal. Because what we are trying to do is get two king golds off. That way we can hit that 150k damage cap multiple times. So you got to be very careful about how much damage you do and how much of Gother's passive that you build up early on. So what I'm going to do here is just move these king cards... Let's see. I'm gonna move the Hellbroom card and get rid of it to make some space. I've been having trouble getting a D rank mission here lately. Um, so, last few attempts, that was the, the main struggle with this team with the D ranks. And it's not even that bad. Because you're gonna go the full eight turns. But, anyways. Um, Probably, now that I'm thinking about it, I probably should have used the go through debuff last turn instead of using the Hellbrim card, but it's okay because we can't use it now. Um, because if we use it now, they won't be able to buff, and we want them to buff to get the extra damage from King's Ult. So we're going to do both D ranks. Um, and by the way, you can get the D rank mission, it's just using a skill with D rank. Their cards don't actually have to be deranked. Although you get 50 points for doing it, so if you can, I would definitely save it for that. Anyways, now we've got King's Ult. Hopefully not going to take too much damage here. We're okay, it looks like. Attack Seal is another debuff we can remove. Get some extra points from that. And we will ult with King, debuff with Gother. We'll move this king card over here, that way we'll hopefully be able to get another one and merge his ult pretty quickly again after this. And luckily the guy on the right survived. As you can see, you gotta be very careful about how much damage you do or you'll you'll kill the guy on the right. But I believe that's our last debuff or D rank that we need. So that's good. But now they should heal up to around half health after this. So we should be able to use a king card. In fact, we should be able to merge the king cards and use them. Yeah, we'll be alright. Um, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to debuff. So they heal back a little bit. And then I'm going to derank. No, that's just three deranks. That's not the fourth. Try to keep count uh, when you're doing your runs. <laughs> At least better than I do. But anyways, we'll get the D rank here. It's 50 points. And we have everything we need. So the last ult, 
you do with King, you will want to have Fest Gother's uh, Relic passive. Uh, just to hit as much damage as possible. And then you can also finish the match with that Relic passive going. So, what we're going to do here is need to clear out some space. We're going to use this King card. We're going to go ahead and use both King cards. It's kind of a gamble, but I think we can get away with it if I do it in this order. See how much damage he does. Don't kill the guy on the right. Ooh, that's a lot. And we're okay. Beautiful. So that'll give us some extra damage caps. We hit the 40k damage cap what, three times there. So a little, little bit of extra points. And that is the last D rank. Beautiful. Go ahead and heal me up by doing that. Thank you. And the stance. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and get Gother's uh, Relic passive. We're going to derank first. I'm sorry. No. No, let's get his passive, passive first. Um, so now that we got his passive, we'll derank King Old. And I guess just Helbermolt heal him up a little bit right now. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. And as you can see, we hit the big points here, over 150k on both, once again, beautiful. We got stance removal for 100 points, and the damage cap of 80k. We're on turn 7, so we have to finish here, this will be turn 8. So all you gotta do is just go through ult, and lane ult, and then we'll just use these two level 2s, and call it a day. And this should be over 11k. Very good looking run so far. And we are at 11.6. So yeah, 11,600. Not, not bad. So there you guys have it. Uh, if you need any replacements for anybody or anything else, just